Bring science out of the classroom and the pupils with it was one of John Turner's aims in making a hot air balloon. He teaches science in Bolton. In the gondola, he can control the natural gas burner under the bag of the balloon. So once it's inflated, he can keep it hot. The schoolboys had the day of their lives, helping with the plastic bag, which has to be big enough to hold more than 60,000 cubic feet of air. To make the containing net over the gas bag, Turner used 3,000 yards of Ulstron rope. The science master wants to obtain an aeronaut's license to qualify him to enter the balloon races held on the continent. The burners heated the air being pumped into the bag, and before long the thing was taking shape. The seams were held together by sticky tape. If you ever got into rather a mess merely trying to do up a parcel with the stuff, you can imagine what a colossal job the balloon must have been. As it inflated, the would-be aeronaut went inside to satisfy himself that everything was air shape and Bolton fashion. He carried one of the portable burners with him to keep up the air temperature. Everything pointed now to a successful venture. The balloon looked pregnant with possibility. But there are always some uncertain moments before these things are airborne. A good breeze, all to the good up in the air, can cause a lot of trouble on the ground. The boys rallied to the master to make sure of a good takeoff. Not a record flight this time, but maybe Turner will have better luck soon. His first ascent merely showed that real hot air, like the metaphorical kind, sometimes gets you nowhere.